You said one of the things that I love most about the organization? Yeah. I think that on one side, it's the, the it's the, the staff here. They're, they're very passionate people. They care about the mission of the organizations. Uh, evident in the teachers, just their love for the children. And I think that's a really beautiful thing to see is how much they care seeing teachers who are willing to go above and beyond to serve these children and and knowing that they uh, they may also be in similar situations where they're maybe struggling economically or in other ways but they they pour everything they have into their jobs and they give a hundred percent and that that's really respectable it's a very respectable thing that really pushes me and then on the other side of that is seeing the parents I think I work I don't work with the children, I work with parents. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm a therapist, I'm a lawyer, I am uh, a consultant, you know, whatever they need, you need to be and to support them. That's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm sort of a help desk for families. And just being able to see how motivated families are, how resilient they are, how many trials they face and how much they're willing to push themselves in order to succeed and for their children. I think that is what I love. I love seeing just the motivation that parents have. It's it's contagious and it makes you want to do more for them uh, because you see how much they're they're already giving uh, to others and they're wanting to better themselves and their families. In your partnership with <clears throat> the Prevention Center, what have you learned and how have you used that information in your work? Good question. So I work primarily with families that have younger children. So up until around the age of nine or 10. And I never gave thought to how substance abuse in teens or even preteens was, 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 was such an issue, uh, especially in an urban setting like DC Partnering with the Prevention Center forced me to use or start thinking with the lens of, of prevention. I didn't, I didn't necessarily have that. I didn't know where to go and refer families. And so uh, the Prevention Center taught me that there is a, there's a big challenge with substance abuse that spans beyond just drugs, that, that alcohol you know, in one sense is a substance where culturally I never thought about alcohol being a substance that, that was abused uh, or that, that could be abused. I know alcohol can be abused, but I think considering it as a substance under that category made me really think in a sober way about some of the dangers and the things that children and families can be exposed to. And 